Lancaster County Election Commissioner Todd Wilchin says he expects around half of voters in the upcoming election to submit their ballots ahead of Election Day. It's an opportunity that his office helped to kick off today by sending out thousands of those mail-in ballots they received requests for. 1011 Sam Cobb stopped by the office as they filled those envelopes and he has more on how many can make their decision before polls even open. Coming out of this printer, a jam-packed ballot ahead of November's election. A lot of people lead very active, busy lives, um, you know, so this gives them the opportunity um, to vote uh, and not worry about uh, not being able to vote on Election Day. More than 42,000 mail-in ballot requests have been verified by the Lancaster County Election Commission since Labor Day. Starting today, the office is sending them out to voters but only after each request met the standards of a rigorous process to confirm each identity. It has to be signed um, and include uh, either a driver's license number or a state ID number. We, we've added a lot of, of you know, countermeasures to make sure that uh, the elections are, are safe, secure, and accurate. Missing even one of those factors puts a request on a separate shelf until the requester can be verified as a legitimate voter. And those ballots can be submitted in two ways, either mailing them back to the commission or dropping them in one of the five secure drop boxes located around the city, which are emptied daily. The, the securest way to return a ballot is through a drop box. Um, you're eliminating all those extra touches um, that, that create the opportunity for um, an error. We've added new security features to the drop boxes. Each drop box will have a camera. That's something new this election. Ballots can be dropped off up until 8 p.m. on Election Day and can still be requested by those who prefer this method. Early voting is expected to pick up even more steam starting next Monday, October 7th, when the office will begin allowing in-person voting. Reporting in Lincoln, Sam Kopp, 1011 News.